Hi everyone, welcome to this Make a Medic tutorial. Today's topic is the difference between rigidity and spasticity. So both of these terms are used to describe an increase in muscle tone. However, they do have some slight differences and are used in slightly different contexts. So we'll focus on the example of an upper limb in this case. So the key point about rigidity is that it's an increase in muscle tone that is not velocity dependent or direction dependent. So what that means is that if you try to flex or extend an arm in this example which is described as being rigid, it doesn't matter if you try and flex and extend it particularly quickly or slowly, you will still encounter the same amount of resistance. In addition, irrespective of the direction or plane in which you move the arm, you will encounter resistance. So rigidity is something that's classically associated with Parkinson's disease. And sometimes it's described as lead pipe rigidity because that describes or provides an analogy for the type of rigidity that's felt. So it's not velocity dependent nor direction dependent. Spasticity, on the other hand, is both velocity and direction dependent. So if you see someone who has had a stroke, you may notice that they have a certain pattern of weakness and that gives rise to a certain posture. So classically, you see that their arms tend to be flexed and their legs tend to be extended. So when you try and assess tone in the upper limb of a patient who's had a stroke, you will notice that the quicker you try to extend the elbow joint, the more resistance is, is felt. So that's velocity dependence. Furthermore, you'll also notice that it's in certain planes of movement that the resistance and the increased tone is felt most.